Welcome back to our what to expect when buying a house video series. And in this video, we're going to talk about appraisals. Hi, my name is Heather Wright and I'm a real estate agent here in Greater Des Moines. And in this video, we're going to talk about appraisals. So what exactly is an appraisal and do you need it? Well, an appraisal is when you're buying a house and especially when you're getting financing, if you're getting financing, the bank that you're getting your financing with is going to require that you have an appraisal. An appraisal is probably going to cost you money out of pocket, it could be 500, 600-ish dollars. Everyone's prices are a little bit different, but they're probably going to want to check from you up front to pay the appraiser. It's possible that that money might be part of your closing costs, but it seems to be the trend where people are paying for it out of pocket. So the cost for the appraisal, the cost for the home inspection, and the earnest money are things that are going to cost you money out of pocket, not at closing costs. So anyway, the bank has a vested interest in you and this house because you're getting money from the bank. So the bank actually owns the house and the house is collateral for you to pay the loan back. So if you are buying a house that's, well, going to fall down tomorrow, the bank, they want to know that. And they're probably not going to give you the loan for that because, well, then if the house doesn't exist, you have no reason to pay the loan back and they lose. And the bank always protects their own interest first. So what they do to protect their interest is they send a third party appraiser out to do essentially the same thing that we did when we were looking at comparables to determine the market value for the property. So they're going to follow their appraisal guidelines and they're going to look for similar homes, similar size, similar area sold within a recent period of time. And they're going to compare those to the property that you have under contract to make sure that the price that you agreed to purchase the house at, in fact, falls within market value range. If you said, I will pay you $1 million for this house that's actually only worth two fifty, dollars they're going to come back and say, excuse me, I have no idea how anybody got this crazy price. They're going to kill the deal. There's a little bit more involved in them killing the deal, but that's essentially the nuts and bolts of it. If they don't agree with the price that we agreed to, we have to start over. And so then that could be where you agree to come up in price out of pocket. So let's say we're only $10,000 apart on the appraisal. So you might pay that $10,000 extra out of pocket. The seller might give you a discount of $10,000. You might both agree to split it 50-50 and you each go up, come down $5,000 each, or it's possible nobody can agree on anything and the deal is killed and you walk away in which case you get your earnest money back, but you don't get the house. So that's why it's important that we do our homework up front to make sure that we don't have an appraisal problem later. Now, if you're getting an FHA or a VA loan, the appraiser is going to look for certain features of the home to make sure that they um, check off and meet the criteria for those government backed loans. So like FHA and VA, they really have a problem with flaking paint, you know, so if there's any flaking paint on window sills or an old shed in the backyard, well, those are things that we'll try to look for at the time when we're making our offer. But sometimes, sometimes we don't always see everything and the appraiser is going to come back and they'll have a required repair. Sometimes there's something inside the house, maybe there's a leak, for example, and the appraiser sees it and they might require that as a repair. And that's just a random example. It's, I can't even tell you the last time I've had an appraiser find a leak in a house, but anything is possible where the appraiser could come back and say, no, this is a problem. It needs to be solved. And then in theory, the seller needs to resolve the problems. But as you probably know by now, things don't always work in theory. And so we may have some back and forth with the seller to um, negotiate to see who's going to fix what to meet the appraiser's requirements for your loan to go through. Now, if you're paying cash for the property, you could hire your own appraiser. You could pay for your own appraisal, but it's not required. And if we've done our homework and looked at all the comparables and you know the market value, 
I would personally recommend that you save your five, $600 because it's sort of useless for them to come back and say, yep, <laughs> your realtor did a good job, but it's certainly your right. If you want to have an appraisal appraisal, that's fine. You would just be paying for it out of pocket and it's not really required because you're paying cash. So that in a nutshell is how appraisals work. And I do have another video on things that you should care about as far as the appraisal process goes. So if you'd like to dive into that a little bit more, you're welcome to watch that. Otherwise, our next video is going to be on the exciting topic of termite inspections. Woo, I can't wait.